Hello good people, it's Sam here at She Does The Most and we are doing another Dollar Tree walkthrough. Now they have just started putting out the Halloween supplies so it is a very tiny tiny amount but at least I'm glad they have something. I'm not sure if these were the things that were left over from last year but I still have a lot of things to show you, so let's get into it. So I showed a little bit of lantern and ornaments. They also have a little bit of fall floral items in my store right now. And going over to this crafting section, they have some wood crafts, some bow clips, some spiders, and you guys know that I gravitate towards the stickers because I use them in my planner. These stickers are a little 3D though, so they're not going to work for my purposes, but I'm still going to try to get through these and show you as best as I can what kind of varieties. So they have the haunted house, the green monsters, and these really cute skeletons. They have a second row of these, but they tend to all be the same thing. So those are the different options that they have. They are putting out some ribbon, and these velvet ribbons are nice, not just for Halloween. But then they have this one. It wouldn't really focus, but it's like a glittery lace ribbon, and it's really, really nice. So I have never put up a Halloween tree before, but these options are kind of making me want to. They have the galvanized one, the purple that says Hocus Pocus, the orange Halloween, and the black dancing skeletons. Down here they have some tiny ornaments. And these velvet pumpkins we saw last year and probably the year before. And up here at the top, they have these wreath holders. So these ones are really nice. I've never seen anyone do a Halloween wreath before, but even if you wanted just the holder to be decorative, that would be really nice as well. And then these two wall signs that say fall blessings, as well as it's pumpkin season. In the second store that I went to, they had these little end caps on the front and it was fully stocked, making it look like there were a lot of Halloween options when there was not, but these were still really cute. This is all Dollar Tree Plus items. And so I am a little triggered by the price, but you can't deny that they are really, really nice. Over here in the wall decal section, same thing, I use these in my planner. Anything that I can slap an adhesive on the back, I will use them. And this one is giving me real intro to fall, just with that little bit of orange on the side. And especially for the south where it's still going to be hot even when it's Halloween. And then I noticed these new little baby ones and they're so cute, but I don't have a need for them. Something that I do love, 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 um, but I have no use for them are these frame wall decals. They're so big and large, and if you have nice pictures to put in the middle, I think that they would be really cute. But I left them behind. Over in the stationery section, I noticed that they have puffy gel pens. I've never seen these before. It says that you can create three-dimensional artworks. Now, it's not a 3D pen. I don't think you're going to be able to build it up that high, but it's still interesting. And they have a larger fall floral section, but I think I have all the fall greenery that I will ever need in my life. And so now we're moving on to just a mini haul. Oh, yeah. Very small haul that I will be adding to the end of my walkthrough. In the back to school section, they have these really cute cat headbands. I picked up one with the pearls, these with the sequins, 
And then these that look like they're, that they're kind of filled in a clear pocket. I picked up these water bottles that came out one day and were completely wiped off the shelf by the next. These two colors, they hold 42 ounces. So they're a good size. In the crafting section, I found these jumbo wall decals. I thought that it was a really nice color. It looks kind of fallish. The only thing is that you have to keep in mind that it has this pink backing so it doesn't um, kiss cut around the floral pattern. But I'll have a good time using this in my planner. It is double sided. It's the same image on both sides. In the stationery section, I found these puffy gel pens. It says here that you can make 3D art. I will test it out later, but I thought that my daughter would like this to make homework a little bit more fun. So I found them in three different colors. I found this book for my one-year-old. I do have the other books in the series. So here you see it says collect them all. They have Daddy Loves You, I Love Us, and Nana Loves You. And the only one that I was missing was the mom. So I did find the others in the series in a different video. I love going through the book section, especially for my nine-year-old, and I found these Nancy Drew Mysteries. I found a book series that was kind of like Tales from the Crypt, but my daughter does not like scary things. And so hopefully these mysteries will keep her interested and engaged in reading. It says for ages eight through 12. Lastly, I found this book by Discovery. It is Color and Learn, and this is all about the United States. And this goes state by state with just some information and fun facts and decoding activities for the kids to do. And this is everything that I got in my small summary back to school haul before I start showing all of my fall things. Bye and I'll see you in the next one.